Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're taking a look at a very unique product that could come in handy when you need purified water. This is a electrolytic disinfectant or bleach-like substance generator. Let's check it out. Alright, so we've all been told about the dangers of storing bleach for long term. It just doesn't last. I believe it's six to six months to two years and you're losing about 20 to 30 percent of its effectiveness and that could lead to trouble should you want to use that bleach after you've stored it that long for disinfecting water or disinfecting any surface for that matter. So this little unit right here kind of incorrectly says it's a bleach generator or disinfectant generator and what it purports to do is take salt and regular tap water and turn it into a disinfectant solution. Now there's a little bit of difference in what this does. Um, it does make a disinfectant solution and it does act like bleach. It's a very similar item to bleach. But what it's really generating is a product called hypochlorous acid. Now that's not hydrochloric acid, that's hypochlorous acid. And there is a bit of a difference. Hypochlorous acid or HOCl may have similar chemical compounds to household bleach, but that's where the similarities end. Hypochlorous acid is produced from electrolyzed salt water. That means the solution is made up of non-corrosive elements you get from the electrolysis of salt water. That is the hydrogen, oxygen, chlorine together will form an active ingredient called HOCl. Pretty much it's a weak acid that actually is naturally produced by your body and your white blood cells to combat pathogens in your body. In contrast, sodium hypochlorite, which is NaOCl, is the main ingredient in bleach and that's formed from chlorine and sodium hydroxide when combined, you get an instant reaction between the two that forms a highly corrosive chemical that isn't safe to be inhaled or applied to, applied to the skin or consumed by humans. Now, I know we do put a couple of drops in bleach and a couple of gallons of water to, to purify it. The concentration is the issue here. You can't drink straight bleach. I wouldn't drink the stuff this stuff generates either, but still, it's a little bit safer for use on skin and hands and things like that. And it does act like bleach, smell like bleach, and look like bleach. Even, you know, when you put your hands in there and you get that slimy feeling from bleach, and I'm regular bleach, I'm not talking about the thick stuff that pours, you get that slimy feeling, this does the same thing. So how does this work? Well, table salt here is an ionic compound known as sodium chloride. You dissolve the salts in the water here, and it disassociates or splits to form sodium ions and chloride ions. The chloride ions have an extra electron, while the sodium ions have one less electron. The battery, or this device here, acts as a pump, and it pumps the extra chloride to the hydrogen ion in the water. Now, I know this is starting to sound like a chemistry lesson, but it's really simple. The chloride ion, now with a perfect number of electrons, becomes the chlorine we know and utilize, while the hydrogen item, atom, now with the perfect electrons, escapes the liquid. What's left is a sodium hydroxide solution with chlorine dissolved in it. So basically, it's going to look, act, and smell just like bleach. However, it isn't bleach. It's slightly different. Now, because you're generating hydrogen gas, it's coming off the, off the thing, it's smart not to use this near anything highly flammable. You have to be careful. Don't let this contraption near fire, sparks, anything like that when it's in operation. What's going to off-gas here is hydrogen. Even the smallest amount of hydrogen can really wake you up and shock you. I mean, it would be enough to break this glass if you got flame close enough to it. We're not going to try that today. So, this thing is super small, fits in a backpack, can run on a USB, um, you know, power bank or whatever. We're going to run it on a uh, power station here, the Rock Pals. I'm going to stick that in the background here. We'll back out a little bit and let you see everything in a sec. And we're going to mix this together and try it out. So, why do you want this, all right? Well, it's very safe. It's environmentally friendly. It produces stuff to disinfect water in minutes with only water and salt. You save money. You don't have to stockpile a bunch of bleach and keep rotating it. You just fill it with salt and water. Uh, you fill the water with salt using this spoon here. And there are formulas for this. So we'll get into the formulas in a second. And you get yourself a really powerful disinfectant in minutes. So instead of stockpiling all that bleach, you can get something similar to this or this item itself. And this item is extremely affordable. Um, I know their uh, MSR makes a, a unit that's an actual big unit that generates like a cup at a time or whatever. And um, they are around 300 and 200 something. They're, they're pretty expensive. They're in the $200, $300 range. This thing, without clipping the coupon, right now as I'm making this video, there is a coupon. Without clipping the coupon, it's $18.99. So it's 19 bucks. With the coupon, 
It's 1634. So there is a little clickable coupon on the site when you go to go to buy it. You'll see that little thing underneath the price. It says click this coupon to save whatever percent. So for less than seven, less than uh, seventeen dollars, you're getting a way to generate almost unlimited amounts of bleach-like substance that can be used to purify water. So let's get into the uh, the formulas for making yourself some good stuff here. Okay, the first formula and they're going to tell you to use two grams of salt, which is one spoon. They give you a, a pre-measured spoon with a hundred milliliters of water. That's about a I don't know a quarter cup. That's really not a lot when you think about it, but if you think about it, what are you using to, to clean your water? What are you going to use when you dilute this with water to spray on things and sanitize them? That's a whole lot. What we're going to do today is use the second formula, which is about um, two cups of water. And I have to get a bigger one because I put this out here and realized I only had one cup of water. And that's five spoons of salt. So it's 500 milliliters or about two cups and five spoons of salt. You can do up to um, 1,000 milliliters or 2,000 milliliters, four to eight cups with 10 or 20 spoons of salt. But today, we're just gonna do two cups. So let me straighten this out. I really brought this out because it kind of fit in the shot. Let me get a two cup um, measuring uh, cup and we will uh, give it a shot. All right, so we're gonna put in our five spoons of salt here. And you want to use this spoon. This is specifically the spoon they give you for measuring this out. So let's get five nice level bits of spoon. Now the thing they tell you is to make sure you're using clean water. This will not work with salt water. So you don't want to use this in like seawater or anything like that. It's, it, the concentration of salt is too high and it won't work well. Four and five. Okay, I hope that was five. <laughs> That's what I get for talking during my videos. Now you want to mix this up as best you can. Um, another idea would be to maybe put this in a, uh, a Nalgene bottle and shake it up a bit. But I'm going to give this a little bit of time to kind of mix together. Then we are going to plug in the device itself and see how well it works. Now, the interesting thing about this is I'm like, this thing doesn't work. It's not going to make bleach, you know, or a bleach-like compound. <laughs> and when it was done, after the first thing, I did the little tiny bit, the uh, 100 milliliters of water. I put my finger in, I dipped it out, and I stuck it on a piece of clothing. And it bleached it. <laughs> so, what we're going to do is start off here and show you. I have a, I save my old blue jeans, you know, stuff that wears out, and I save them because I make char cloth out of them, so I cut them into little pieces like this. So we're going to take a piece of blue jean here and see if just the salt water is going to dye it. And obviously not. There's nothing going on there. It's just salt water. So once we do this, and it's going to take, what do they say, about uh, 15, uh, 10, to, 10 to 20 minutes to let it do a whole two cups. Now imagine how much clean water you can get using that as a sanitizer. That's pretty amazing, honestly. All right. Plug this guy in here, turn on the USB, turn on the unit, there we go, turn on the USB, and into the water it goes, you can probably start seeing it, I'm going to move you up close, you can probably start seeing it fizzling and having a reaction. Um, one of the things I did struggle with is to keep it down at the bottom, it seems to be doing pretty well there. So we're going to give this 10 to 20 minutes to let this uh, do its magic. Now during the time this is going on, especially since I'm doing this quicker than I would normally, I would normally let that solution kind of hydrate and soak up the salt a little better, um, you may want to go in here and mix the solution around a little bit as time goes on, but all in all this will work pretty well. So what I'm going to use is something small, so I can just kind of scoop up the salt on the sides and you know wherever it starts to settle on the bottom and see how well this works. So let's give it 10 to 20 minutes and I'll bring you back and we'll try this out. Now one thing I can tell you is you're going to smell bleach. There's going to be a strong chlorine smell. And also too, this is around the time when you want to make sure there's nothing flammable in the area. This is off-gassing, you know, really, really, really uh, powerful stuff, hydrogen gas. Um, those of you that know about the Hindenburg understand what hydrogen does when it gets near fire. So we're going to let this sit and run and see how it works. All right, so we've given it 20 minutes. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but all the salt has dissolved in there. There is a very strong smell of what most people would consider bleach. It's really chlorine in the air in here. Um, you definitely don't want to breathe that in too much, but you can definitely tell it's working. You know, you can smell it. And if you've noticed where I put the tools down, I started to discolor. I don't know if you can see it in the light, but you can see the white, you know, where it's been sitting here. So it is working. It's definitely... Um, changing, uh, changing the color of things. So there is a chlorine solution in there now. You'll also notice too 
It's only drawn three, two to three watts the whole time it's been in here for 20 minutes. That's pretty amazing that I could draw such low power and have bleach or a way to sanitize my water. So I'm going to shut this thing off. Now they were supposed to send uh, test strips with this and they did not. It said it came with test strips but it did not. Now the only thing they tell you as far as maintenance goes with this is when you're done run this under cold water for a while, rinse it out, shake it out and dry it off really well. So I guess you don't get all the stuff stuck in there from all the electrolysis. But there you go. You can see that is a bleach-like solution. There's no salt in the bottom there. Let me see if I can scoop any up. No, nope. I don't see any salt at all in the bottom. If you can take a look inside there, nothing on the bottom at all. So it's definitely doing its job. Uh, as you can tell by the thing here where I've been resting my tools, it's starting to bleach that. Um, had I wanted it stronger, you could let it go. There really is no limit to how long you let this go. I mean, I wouldn't let it go for an hour. But, you know, if you want to let it go 30 minutes, I let it go for 20. If you want to let it go for 30 minutes, you can do that too. So that is pretty darn amazing for a device that costs under $17 with the coupon and even under $20 without it. Um, just a little simple USB kind of thing there that will do that for you. And you will get yourself, I mean, I can't imagine how many gallons of water that could purify. And let's face it, your filters, after a while, they're going to stop working. Even the ones that say this filter is 100,000 gallons, they're going to stop working. And this will kill off a whole lot more than, say, your, um, your little filters. You know, it won't get, the filters won't take out some of the bacteria. This will kill it. So it's definitely a handy thing to have. So that is the disinfection generator here. And I will give you a link down below where you can pick one up. Uh, I would definitely say they are a worthwhile thing to have. Uh, that's definitely a cool thing to do. I just can't believe the smell of the, the chlorine coming off. It's like, wow, that's really strong. That's like when you open a brand new bottle of bleach. So i got to say I'm impressed with it. And the fact that it started turning this thing all sorts of funky colors when I put it down, when I put my tools on it, I was like, oh, yeah, we're there. Let's start the camera because <laughs> that told me right away it was working. So, definitely a cool little device, really small and handy. I mean, this can almost be something you stick in a bug out bag with a little cell phone charger type thing, you know, those little things with the solar panels on them and little 12 volt, uh, the little uh, 5 volt batteries in them to uh, charge your cell phones. Uh, that's definitely a, a handy little device. Now, I do want to look into getting a larger one and trying it on a larger scale, but for now, I'm pretty happy with just this little device right here, and I'm going to rinse it off when the uh, video's done. I will put a link down below, and like I said, it's $18.99 without the coupon. With the coupon, it's $16.34. So right underneath the price, there'll be that little thing that says click here to save whatever percent, 10%, 5%, whatever. Click that, put it in your cart, and then purchase it, and you'll be right there. And the link is right down below where you can pick one of these up. I would say for the cost and for the amount of bleach color I'm getting on here, I'd say that's pretty darn good. You know, the discoloration from the bleach, I'd say that's pretty darn good. I'm really impressed. So, definitely a handy item to pick up. Um, I will be picking up a larger one, like I said, and we will try them out. So, the link will be down below. It is in my Amazon store as well. And also, don't forget to check out all our other links. Now, yesterday I did a video for freeze-dried wholesalers. Don't forget to check them out. They've got their roast beef on sale right now. It's a special for my, my, uh, my subscribers. So, just click the link. You'll save 15% by clicking my link. And check out, I got a lot of comments on that yesterday saying, hey, thanks for saving me $33, $13, $14, $15, $18. So check them out. Don't forget our My Patriot Supply down there. That's preparewithiridium.com. Preparewithiridium.com. That is my site that has all of the bulk food deals from My Patriot Supply on it. You're going to save some money this month. And our Thrive Life Freeze Dried Food Store as well. Anyway, folks, thank you for watching. Stay safe and stay prepared.